This is Cringe, Sharp, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stand. Uh, Sunday night after the game, a, a lot of uh, stuff went down. Lovey Smith was let go of the head coach. Um, what Can you kind of give us the, the details of why he was let go and, and um, you know, the future moving on? His team was awful. It was worse than the year before. He had the worst <laughs> offense with the worst offensive coordinator and play caller in Pat Hamilton I've ever seen. You, you, and, sound like, you sound like us every week, Mr. McClain. <laughs> and I, I had said on Sports Radio 610, Twitter, and written on gallerysports.com that he was gone. I knew he was gone. And so I wasn't surprised. And, I, and one thing I hate is teams that will, you know, they coaches have to talk after a game. And the talk after the game with the media was more about, oh, my God, you won, and you cost them the first pick. Well, Lovey wanted to win, and McNair's wanted to win, Casario players, and they should be congratulated for winning, even though most of us didn't want them to. So that was the focus, not his job situation. But um, making a coach come out on Monday morning and meet with the media and be – being harangued about his job situation. To me, he's cruel and unusual punishment. Jeff Saturday had to do that in Indy. And he said, well, if I get rehired, major changes are coming. And I think, my God, who would even believe you have a chance <laughs> after closing the season with seven consecutive losses? And I just thought that was very unfair. They should have fired him after the game, not put him through an inquisition with the media. So, this is Cringe, Sharp, Riggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We're not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.